Okay, so now we're going to cover the fuel system requirements for Komatsu's Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final products. Now, when we talk about the fuel system requirements, it's actually very simple for the operator. There's only a few key points that we want you to remember, including what are the required fuel types for Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final products, how do we best manage and maintain the fuel filtration system, and just some general best practices. So the first thing we're going to discuss is what is the required fuel type. All Komatsu Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final machines are going to utilize ultra-low sulfur diesel. Komatsu recommends a few best practices whenever refueling the machines. The first would be whenever parking a machine to look for a level piece of ground. This will ensure accurate fluid level readings during the next pre-operation inspection. We also recommend refueling the machines at the end of a shift when the machines are warm to reduce the amount of condensation in the tank. Reducing the amount of condensation in the tank will go a long way towards keeping contamination levels lower in the fuel system. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the fuel filtration system. All Komatsu Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final products are equipped with a fuel pre-filter with a sediment bowl and a sediment drain on the fuel tank. Now the location of each component is going to vary by product line, but Komatsu recommends that you check the pre-filter for contamination on a daily basis as part of the pre-operation inspection. If you do notice some contamination in the sediment bowl, simply open the valve located on the bottom and drain the contaminants into a catch can. This should only be done when the engine is not running and the key is in the off position. Once drained, be sure to retighten the valve. Komatsu also recommends that we open the valve on the sediment drain to the fuel tank on a weekly basis to check for contaminants. So that covers the fuel system requirements for Komatsu's Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final products. You should now be comfortable understanding the proper fuel to use on each product and also the best practices for maintaining and managing the fuel filtration system.